Greetings everyone! This video is going to talk about the technique that you just saw, um, playing synthesizer tones that are associated with colored shapes. So it's a very simple technique and I uh, look forward to just taking you through the process that I came up that, that I came up with of doing it. So let's get right to it. So first of all, knowing that uh, Serato has five cue points, I knew that I could only play five, synth five different synthesizer tones. Um, so I I played those within reason, and um, I just played one tone every two bars. And so the the key, I think, is to make sure that the synthesizer tones are tempo locked to whichever track you were wanting to play. For instance, this is at a tempo of 130, which is a common tempo that I produce my tracks with. And so here you have iMovie. This is what I use to make video files on the quick. And um, so all I did was just uh, associate the sound file here. You see the synthesizer tone, and then there's a little delay tail as it goes there. Synthesizer tone, delay tail. And so for about the length of the synthesizer tone, I associated a colored shape. So for the second tone, it was this blue rectangle. And then immediately after the synthesizer tone ended, I inserted a white rectangle, so it's going to go right to the shape and then right back to the white rectangle. So it'll look, when it's um, superimposed over another image, it's going to look pretty blank, but um, that there's a, a rectangular outline here I think looks pretty cool because it frames whichever image that it's laid over. And so I started with the uh, green rectangle, and as you can see iMovie was nice enough to put in a glitch for me, which I think really looks great. And that's the cool thing about this technique is that you can really use anything you want because um, when you use this in, with a, a kind of a transparent setting, um, the, the juxtaposition of two images is, is always going to be very interesting. So whether it be shapes or you know pictures or whatever it is that you want to do, um, fine. So here's some colored circles for the third tone, and then a hollow red rectangle or a triangle. Sorry and then some colored squares for the fifth tone. And so all you do is just rip that to MP4 and then I've been using the Handbrake uh, downloadable preset that Serato gave out. And let's go over to Serato. So here we have in Serato I've associated all five cue points, one with each one of the synthesizer tones. And so if you just play it through it's going to be each tone will sound, or one tone will sound every two bars. And so forth. Or if you play it by the cue points. So you can see already how fun this is going to be. So if we go back to our video window, just here I've just got a four to the floor loop um, with some uh, video of Joey and Jesse from Full House. And then I use the center transition, it's called center, and then I crossfaded about three fourths of the way over. Now it's going to be up to your personal preference of how much of each image you really want to see. So the further to the left that it gets you're going to see more of the four to the floor full house image and then the farther you go right so that's up to you I think it looks pretty good right at that Oop. right about there maybe and that's really it so it's up to you which synth tones you want to use and which video and what kind of drum beat um, just be creative and see what you can come up with because I think that this opens up a lot of different opportunities for just playing music um, instead of just queuing video and um, so really you know I'd like to see w what you think of this technique and um, maybe if you have any questions or comments please let me know and I hope this was informative and you know so let's uh, keep the conversation going so hit me up and let me know what you think